Ladies and gentlemen, Jazz Morganzo, what's next? I just did a quick vid regarding Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott that they have agreed to terms on a four-year deal worth 160 million with 66 up front at 40 per. Um, but this goes to the NBA. Let's take a look. NBA All-Star ratings 20 crash 24% hit an all-time low. Yes, even the great LeBroni James couldn't get enough eyeballs on the All-Star game. Pathetic, but not a surprise the way the season of 2020 went and the 2021 season kicks off. Well, not kicks off, but uh, yeah, nothing changed from last year's debacle. Um, the All-Star game proved to have l very little star power indeed as the annual event hit an all-time low in ratings and viewership. On a night where the league celebrated historically black colleges and universities, HBCUs, which, by the way, the former president did more for those historically black colleges than Barack Obama did in eight years in office. Look it up. It's called facts. While matched up against Oprah's interview with Harry and Meghan Markle, didn't want to go there. I was thinking about going there with a video, but so many people have jumped on this already and set the place on fire. So uh, I'm, I'm just going to bypass that. Uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, America's foremost social justice minded sports league. That's where the downfall is. Suffered its lowest numbers, ratings, and viewership. Sunday's All Star, uh, NBA All Star game, which included the dunk contest at halftime, it's a first. They didn't do the dunk contest the first time in NBA history that they did the dunk contest in the All Star game versus doing it on Saturday night, which has always been All Star Saturday night. <sighs> God, you missed the days of Michael Jordan and Dominique Wilkins. You missed those days. Uh, Hmm, Sean Kemp. Hell, I think, you know, even Iverson uh, appeared in the All-Star game one year. Um, averaged a combined 3.1 rating and 5.94 million eyeballs on TNT and TBS, down 24% and 18% in viewership from last year and the lowest rated and least watched edition of the game. Brutal. Absolutely brutal brutal um but not surprising not surprising at all when you decide to go all woke when you decide to go all woke this is what happens inconsistency uh nonsense political correct garbage this is what happens you take a once great league and i mean i just mentioned names uh, jordan wilkins kemp iverson Olajuwon, O'Neal, Barkley, uh, um, Larry Bird, Magic, Irving. When you talk about the greatness of what the NBA was, and sadly it was now, I guarantee you, if you ask these players, Barkley has been on record saying, you know, regarding the whole political correct black lies matters, nonsense is going to be the downfall of the league. And guess what? It is. When you got the commissioner, Silver, running around saying, well, this, uh, you know, well, this needs to happen and this needs to happen, blah, 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 because we need to make sure social justice. It's about social justice. No, it's about wokeness and garbage. And this is exactly what has happened to the once great NBA All-Star Weekend. And that is sad and pathetic. And this is led by its puppet, by its court jester, LeBroni James. Pathetic, but we're going to change gears, uh, but we're going to stay in the same realm. And that goes with, also from Breitbart, major U.S. sports leagues lose $14 billion in 2020. Falls in the same category. Of course, LeBroni James, China's butt puppet. Um, pro sports lost an incredible amount of money last year with each losing revenue in every area 
from fan support to sponsorship. Gee, again, you wonder why. According to Forbes to date, the pro sports leagues have lost a combined 14.1 billion since the world grounded to a halt over a year ago regarding Corona. Not only did the leagues lose billions of dollars in revenue, but the teams themselves also lost a percentage of what they are worth. The magazine added, quote, even the value of sports teams, one of the most reliable long-term investments for billionaires begin to creak from the strain NHL franchise val uh, values fell 2% on average. According to Forbes, the first drop in two decades. This is the NHL. So no matter what you say about the other sports leagues, the NHL has always been consistent. This is the first time in over 20 years that they've lost revenue. 2% revenue. That's huge, especially in a market like the NHL, which doesn't have that in that has that huge sponsorship the way the NFL does and what the NBA does. Um or Major League Baseball. But uh once again is that uh even the top earners lost their earned. I mean, you got boxers, Canelo uh Canelo Alvarez earnings are down. 57 million dollars good grief man talk about taking a hit uh baseball's clayton kershaw lost 3.5 uh nba's chris paul and, and joel embered lost 6.8 and 4.9 million respectively even golf has been affected by this with mickelson losing 11.6 million from from his 2019 average but again a lot of this has to do with going woke. That's that's the problem. Is that when you go to go woke, you will go broke. Look at the movie industry. Thank you, Disney. Way to ruin lives. But this is what happens. Sports leagues are supposed to be a fantasy. They're supposed to be a getaway from this nonsense. Not the continuing garbage that is being spewed because of social justice. This is what happens when you deal with nonsense like Black Lives Matter, the organization, not the term. Again, it's context. When you're dealing with a corporation, you must just call them that because they earned $90 million last year. Well, I'm sorry. They were, they were, uh, what was it? Uh, they were blackmailed. 90 million dollars last year you have corporations give this black lives matter org that kind of money i'm in the wrong market but this is what happens you go woke you will go broke this you know this it, it's consistent and when you decide not to call a spade out spade out call black lives matter out for what they are and call out china for what they are Lebroni. No surprise that the that all leagues took a massive hit in 2020, and the way it's going right now, the NFL doesn't have to worry about that till, till September. You got baseball right around the corner. You got the NBA going on, as I just talked about the All Star Game, uh, running right in the toilet. Um, <laughs> just keeps getting worse, folks. Just keeps getting worse. And with that being said, I'm Jasper Ogonzo. This is what's next. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.